Well, in this focus segment, we're going to be talking about the new fraud, waste, and abuse hotline. I'm joined today by Mayor Robertson. He sits on the committee that looked at the audit and how to improve efficiency. And tell me, Mr. Mayor, why is it so important for a municipality to be good stewards of the taxpayers' money? You know, our residents want to make sure that there's full transparency and efficiency. Uh, in the government that they are paying their taxes into. And this, uh, the audit committee certainly ensures that, uh, where they're able to, to go in and look at detailed, strategically detailed um, uh, financing and efficiencies within each department. Do you think having a program like this and, and a committee like this helps to build and gender that trust with between uh, the municipality and the citizens? Absolutely, trust and confidence uh, between the citizens and, and the government. And you know, in every election, no matter where you are or, or what the election is, you're always talking about that government wastes money. Well, what this audit committee does uh, through the fraud and abuse uh, hotline that we're setting up will detour that and hopefully folks will be able to see that uh, the city of Fayetteville runs as efficiently as any government can. Excellent. Well, uh, we're going to take a look at the new fraud, waste, and abuse hotline and how you can be a partner with the city and making our community efficient and effective. Experts estimate that the average city loses around 5% of their annual revenue to fraud. For a city the size of Fayetteville and our operating budget, that could equal millions of dollars in lost revenue. That type of money could be used to build pools or pave city streets. Fraud hurts everyone, whether it's a citizen who doesn't receive the full value of their taxes or whether it's the loss of confidence that the public has in our local government. Fraud comes in many forms. It can come from outside of the organization, from vendors falsifying invoices for services rendered, or from citizens creating bogus checks from the city, or cashing a check from the city that belongs to someone else. Internally, fraud can come from city employees who skim cash from the register, falsify time cards and expense reports, misuse purchase cards, use city property for personal use, and by taking cash paid for city services, such as parking fines or permits. No matter the form of fraud or who is responsible for it, it doesn't happen by chance. In fact, it is usually predictable based upon the fraud triangle. Need, rationalization, and opportunity. Um, people rationalize that they deserve the money, they need it at home, and they say they'll pay it back. And finally, that opportunity presents itself, and some actually take that opportunity. There is only one element of the fraud triangle that management can prevent, and that is opportunity. We do that by having strong internal controls. That means that we do frequent audits, that means that we require supervisor approval, and it also means that we rely upon fraud detection. According to a recent study, for organizations with more than 100 employees, 44% of all fraud is detected and reported through a tip. In most organizations, nearly 52% of the tips came from employees. This is the reason the city is reintroducing the fraud, waste, and abuse hotline, and the city is rolling out the Doing What's Right campaign. To report a case of city-related fraud is as simple as picking up your phone or going on the web. A toll-free number operated by a third-party company is available at 1-877-339-4715. To report online, visit FayettevilleNC.gov slash doing what's right for more information. Whether made by a phone call or over the internet, all tips can be made anonymously. What we care about is uncovering cases of fraud, waste, and abuse, and to ensure the tipsters remain anonymous, which, based upon best practices, ensures people are more comfortable coming forward. The city's hotline, which is administered by a third party, is designed to maintain that confidentiality and anonymity. The hotline is available to report city-related cases of fraud, waste, and abuse. For non-city-related cases of fraud, contact your local law enforcement agency.